Hello New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan, thanks for joining us. We've got a low pressure system moving in, another one coming this weekend, and some high pressure in there as well. But one thing that is very common across the country at the moment, it's warmer than average, both daytime and nighttime. It is going to cool down this week in the South Island, but for many in the North, it is a fairly mild week. And you can sort of see why. Look at these winds coming down from the North, coming out of the subtropics again. So fairly mild weather over the North Island with rain now moving into Auckland and the upper North Island across the rest of Monday. It's sort of a mixture of uh, drizzly patches, dry spells and some heavier falls coming through. Then there's the main low out here. So even when the winds stop being northerly, they start being westerly. That's not overly cold either. This is the rainfall for the next two days coming up. The two day rainfall, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the areas with the heaviest rain in the pink shading. So the eastern side of Bay of Plenty, uh, eastern side and northern parts of Northland, round about Taranaki, inland towards National Park and down around the west coast. And once again on the west coast, most of that heavy rain south of where most people live. Um, it gets sort of heavier around about Hokitika southwards, not so much northwards. And those in the east, you'll be pleased to know, at least in uh, Canterbury, it's looking mostly dry. Let's take a look at the forecast for Tuesday. So we've got that northerly moving away and now the westerlies coming on in. So there will be a few showers, but still plenty of dry spells. Sorry, uh, Hawke's Bay, it's looking dry for you, but the good chance, uh, the, sorry, the, uh, the good thing is that there is a chance of rain coming up for you uh, towards the weekend. So we're hoping on Sunday, there'll be some chances of rain in Hawke's Bay. Take a look at your local weather watch forecast to take a look at those details. Uh, rain on the west coast as well and a few showers coming up around Waikato. By the time we get to the middle of the week, Wednesday, there is a cooler change forming in the south. In fact, if you look at the South Island, generally speaking, the temperatures drop on Wednesday as low pressure moves in, light winds, and there's just a bit of a light breeze that's quite cool coming in. Nothing major, but just enough to drop those temperatures down. A few showers for field days, nothing too major. Pack a raincoat if you're heading along to that and it stays dry around eastern areas. On Thursday, mostly dry in the North Island, but there could be a shower or two still around Mystery Creek. We've got showers down here and you can see that blue line has gone right up to Christchurch. So if you didn't feel the cooler change by Wednesday, you'll feel it by Thursday as your temperatures start to drop a lot more. It's actually due to this high south of New Zealand and the anticyclonic winds that go off our screen and then they come back up again as a east to southeasterly wind, that's what's coming in here. But it is quite cold as it comes from south of the screen. Okay, by the end of the week, fairly dry around the North Island on Friday. There could, could be a shower still around Waikato for field days, otherwise dry weather. Uh, that cold weather continues on in the South Island with inland frosts possible. And then we go into the weekend and here comes our next low. Northerly winds are coming back and it's a mix of showers and dry spells for the North Island. So if you're heading off to, again, Mystery Creek, uh, there will be dry spells all of this week. So you just gotta find your window. And the good thing is we've got the hourly rainfall forecast. So you can sort of get a feeling, uh, we've got Mystery Creek in there. You can get a feeling for how wet it's really going to be. The good news is as this moves around on Sunday, we're hoping that it will come into Hawke's Bay. I technically shouldn't say it's good news until we can lock it in. I can hear you saying that. But uh, we do have a chance of more wet weather at least moving back into the North Island by the time we get to Sunday. Sorry about our video being a bit late today. We had a few technical issues. We're back on track now, I hope. And we'll be back again on Tuesday with our next update.